what's going on everybody it's patrick midtown doors how is your saturday going hopefully it's going well um got a real quick uh update on things letting the cooler air out a little bit gonna be going somewhere this weekend gotta have the cooler do an overnighter that you'll see in a couple weeks uh vehicle updates chase's truck fixing to go to a major major upgrades um i've got to do a little cleaning out so he's got somewhere to store some stuff that's supposed to be coming in this thing maybe a little bit fogged up yep high humidity in tennessee and uh cold temperatures in the house but anyway his truck expects to go through some major 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 upgrades so uh i'll drop a picture of his truck i think you've seen it once i think i showed it when he first got it on the channel the titan my titan uh it's been having a problem with air conditioner now i live in the south folks air conditioner is almost a necessity in this truck but what it was doing was blowing heat on one side and cold on the other blend door issue sure enough they found it they were able to do it without having to take the dash out this time fixed it we got cold ac when we want cold ac we got heat when we want heat yay so titan she's ready to roll for this weekend uh like i said you'll see that in a few weeks the odyssey now you know it's been on a couple big trips we were having an issue with it. We were having a shutter with the transmission. If you own a 2016 and up Odyssey, it has a shuttering issue, get it into the dealership because it's actually two things. Uh, what, what has fixed this one right now, we're hoping it's fixed it for good. They did a transmission fluid flush and they did a upgraded software to the transmission and the shutter's gone um everything i read on the forums was saying that it was a bad firmware in the transmission computer so it didn't know between second and third and it was jittery at low speeds now she's driving great um so anyway it's just wednesday i thought today was thursday all day long i don't know why but i did but I gotta get this big uh I gotta get a big area cleaned out for what's coming for Chase's truck. Some of what's going on Chase's truck is actually at the office up high. So I'll be glad when all of it's on the vehicle and out of the way. But our other next big thing that's fixing to happen, we're fixing to do a bunch of renovations to the house. Um I'll catalog those as they go probably start here i don't know we've got to get all everything in order first but uh we've got big renovations going on especially in the back swimming pool is going bye bye and deck is expanding maybe possibilities some other things with that but you see two cars sitting here jason's truck normally sits here there's fixing to be a fourth car in our driveway and this driveway is small and we never thought about it when we bought the house that, um, you know, eventually we're going to have two kids driving. One kid moved out, still got one kid driving. Well, now it's time for CJ to start driving. So we got to get another vehicle and put it in the driveway. So that's going to be four vehicles in the driveway. Chase is planning on getting somewhere and moving out at some point, but not yet. So anyways, um, I've got to figure out what I'm going to do with this garage. I've got to be able to get something in here, pretty tall, pretty big boxes. And right now there's not room for any of that. So let me get to work and uh, I'll probably bring you back at another point. And by the way, there's still mud on my GoPro from the off-road trip. I just realized it's still got mud all over it. <laughs> all right. Okay, well I got the back of the truck open and unloaded a little bit. I want to go over something that um, I have realized that I want to change about the truck or gear. And 
that's that table and this table now it's no secret i don't know if i told talked about it or not but when we had the youtuber meet up i took my little oven with me this time you know bake some cookies i bake some biscuits well i didn't realize for as long as i was baking cookies you won't be able to see it on camera but i kind of warped the table a little bit the plastic table uh when you're doing normal cooking it probably wouldn't affect it but when you're baking um takes a little longer a lot more heat for a longer period of time so it well essentially melted the table so what i'm thinking about doing and I had one spotted and, you know, as luck has it, um, it got away from me. But I want collapsible tables that collapse down like this for inside the tent and under the dining canopy. Um, so I had one that I had found that was a 37 inch tall table, which would have been perfect. But of course it's now out of stock and don't know when it's gonna be back in stock. The little table, as far as the one that sits in there in the tent between the two cots when there's two people, get that pretty easily. I can get a Coleman, I can get whatever brand I want, no big deal. But I'm waiting for that 37 inch tall table to come back in. The one I'm looking at is the same width and everything as far as this one goes, as far as the dimensions and everything. It just, it's 37 inches tall most of them are around 27 28 inches tall so that's a whole 10 inches down that i don't want i also don't want to have to cut tubes or you know pvc or anything like that to add on the legs i want it to all be ready to go and i have to worry about oh a lost apart or anything like that um this winter this fall in winter we got some pretty cool trips planned or in the works. I was telling the wife about one of them. Uh, we're going to take a make a return trip to somewhere I haven't been in about. Uh, I guess let's see, probably a good seven eight years, and I want to go back with a purpose. So we will, you know, we'll let you in on that one on down the road. And if you want to do some cold weather camping, I may make that as a meet me here type deal um but anyways yeah i can no that's part of the way the table shape so it really didn't affect the table as far as the heat as far as that you can really visually see i don't know if i hold the camera down now nah, you really can't see the warpage it's right in there where it warped it and uh you can actually we actually seen smoke coming off. I was like, oh crap, it's melting the table. But anyways, guys, that's it for this week, this Saturday. Um, like I said, got a special trip planned for today. You will see that in a couple weeks. Um, it does involve camping, so stay tuned. But it will probably be my absolute last camping trip of the summer. Because I just don't do camping trips in the summer. But I've got some other things in mind to do this summer so stay tuned hang out and we're not too going adventuring by any means this summer we're going to still get out we're going to still do which part of other things but uh i will bring you guys along that's it for this saturday hope everybody has a great weekend see you on the next one be prepared